Hi there. Now it's time to move your body. Keep it moving using the physics library MMMO <laughs> in our 3JS project. So I am referring to the objects in 3 in 3D in three dimensions. So at the moment we have this cube which contains a rigid body and we have a reload ground which has also a rigid body but the, the ground doesn't have mass and the yellow box have mass uh, now it's time to make it move and in order to do that we are going to copy some special code I have prepared and I will show you right now into the loop so we, we, if we set the an speed like 10 I'm going to make it dot one and in this code says that if we kill listener kill listener kill listener is not is not load control p yeah control tab yeah control space yeah i'm going to outside the loop i'm going to start the key listen the key yeah, the key listener. And now it says if the we press W, we increase the Z X in. We set the Z variable as one. Other one, if we press S, we decrease. We set the X, the Z variable as minus one. If we press A, we set X as one. If we press D is we press D with that X variable as minus one. So if X or Z is different to zero, are different to zero, we are going to do something special that I will show you right now. This moment I will cope these examples and we are going to start with the first example. So and after that I need to do some special thing things which is set the camera in the other side so in minus minus three so uh, at the moment we need to run this and npm run build hopefully yeah now we are in the other side you can note it because of the dark, dark shadow, dark side of <laughs> of the cube, and now in, I am going to make the camera follow the the guy, the yellow cube, and the yellow cube. We don't get it. Do you remember that we have a rigid bodies, which is an array, and we have only one. One uh, element in that array, this uh, array is filled when we set and we when we use the physics create rigid body. So if somebody somebody have a mass higher than zero, is going to place it in the rigid body. Now uh, we can access to that rigid to that to that guy and get the physical body and set it into a variable named body. Now we are going to move the mob move the body and we can add an impulse to that body and hopefully it is going to f to work. So as you can see, yeah, if I press A. S, W, or W, or D, we can move the cube, and the camera is not following. Yeah, I, I remember the camera at the moment is looking at the the tiny green box, which is this one. But we need to follow the camera. Have to follow this guy, the yellow box, yellow box. So now, hopefully, yeah, the camera is following. The yellow box. Oh, I get lost. <laughs> I get lost. I'm going to refresh. So, yeah. 
we have some examples here we are adding an impulse is uh, an impulse like a hundred percent of each frame but we can add a linear velocity which is a movement for example we need to increase this one as one because they have they have different different effects yeah can you see now this is moving moving maybe if we increase in 10 and we yeah come goes right left back ahead back right and then stop so you have to remember there is a gravity working on the physical world and the ground have has zero mass and the yellow cube have a mass and the gravity work on the rigid body and the bodies in the physical world and we connect the information of the physical work to the to the uh, visible work which is 3js so in this case we are uh, updating the physical world and in the next okay okay we can do this in the next frame but no no not really but we can do that be, make the changes before update the updating the the physics and um, yeah now you change the some stuff into the physical world and with inside this method that changes is are going to be copied into the visible world which is the 3js world so and um, after that immediately after that we um after that we um render the scene in each frame so that scene that's it that's all we can see some some issue there so i think the best could be make the <laughs> update before and then make some changes in this way yeah so the the changes take effect in the in the next in the following frame so we don't have to see the, the that tension in the movements yeah that's it so hopefully you enjoyed as me and see you in the following lessons stay tuned